Stanford University. As I was thinking of what I might say to you this morning, my mind wandered back through this lineage. College graduates hear other people's hopes for them seemingly ad infinitum. Let me share in these important hopes. I hope that you and your families take great pride in this day, that each of you has much worldly and material success, that you discover ways to serve that both bring your heart great gladness and meet the world's great need, that you find and keep true love, that you cultivate your inner capacities of faith and reflection. But I wish for you something else, that you have at least one person in your life who is a little bit crazy, who thinks that windmills could be giants, who cannot pass a flock of birds without stopping to preach the gospel, someone willing to take on the big nurse so that the loony bin can watch the World Series, someone who insists on lighting out for the territory ahead of the rest because he can't stand the Aunt Sally's of civilization. I wish for each of you your own brother Wayne, Someone who, as Ani DeFranco says, has eyes like neon signs flashing open, open, open all the time. We talk a lot at Stanford about public service and social change, about our commitment to utilizing our skills, knowledge, connections, and positions to positively impact the world and to, quote, make a difference. Given the enormous opportunities and privileges that we've all been blessed with. Most of us, I hope most of us, recognize the immense obligation upon us to give back to society and to the world. And yet, while this commitment is noble, my experiences at Stanford have made me question whether or not we are actually nurturing within our inner selves a true disposition towards service. We talk about living a life of service as if that is easy. As if it is simply a given that that commitment will remain constant throughout our lives, despite the challenges and adversities that we will inevitably face outside of the comfortable Stanford bubble. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.